Hey everyone and welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be taking a look at Greater Howling Abyss. I'm going to be on a solo run through there on a different character. I'm actually going to be playing a spell song that's only 5.8k gear score. We'll, we'll see in a moment. But yeah, this is going to be a longer video. Because Howling Abyss is a bit of a longer dungeon. And I'm going to try and walk through all of the different things you can do in there. And again, I'm doing this on a lower gear score character just because I want to show that off more. I definitely want to cater these videos to be more towards people who are just in like divine gear or only really just getting started in the game. So that's what you can expect from this. I will timestamp each of the bosses in the dungeon and then I'll like timestamp the bits in between. So if you want to just skip through to the parts that you're curious about, I will do that. So feel free to just skip on through and see what you're looking for. But yeah, let's uh, just jump right into it. All right, so here's my mage all to, again, it was very low gear score. It's only 5.8, close to 6k gear score. The one big thing is that he has a legendary staff, which I just got up. I mean, the first thing you should be going for is your weapon anyway, so you're going to be getting this up relatively qu quickly. But as you can see, I don't even have accessories. This is something I threw together really quickly. Um, I've been trying to slowly level this guy up or gear this guy up to uh, redo the Garden of the Gods quests. And do these dungeon runs because I feel like feel like doing these uh, dungeon runs on my main kind of defeats the point of the videos. You know, I want to show them off at a lower gear score. Though I think I may have overgeared this guy honestly because, as you'll see in a moment, the Howl and Abyss run is kind of easy on a mage. Mages are just really strong anyway, especially if you're using a two-handed staff. So yeah, let's get right into it. All right, now that we're finally in, and there were, there were no issues at all <laughs> getting into the dungeon. Nothing went wrong. Oh no. Uh oh. Uh. Um. We'll head off and start our run. So, you're probably very familiar with the start of this dungeon if you've been running your normal Howling Abyss. Again, it's the same process as usual. We're just going to run past all the mobs. You can actually use the cannons over there to kill the mobs along the way, but I don't bother half the time. But we're just going to climb up here. That guy's going to drop barrels on us. We are going to take a bit of damage from them. Honestly, if we get hit by mobs in here at all, we're going to take quite a bit of damage because our gear is, you know, our armor's not the best. But it gets us by. We do survive. There we go. The old uh, fireball arc lightning. Mage is a very hard class, guys. But no, I've been leveling this mage up and it's actually really fun. I'm really enjoying it. So I'm, I'm just playing a pel- uh, I'm playing a spell song at the moment, so... I've got sorcery, a songcraft, or a mancy. I'm tempted to swap over to enigmatist. I just like the mobility of those classes. Yeah, we're just gonna pick up the key from either side. It can be there, it can be over there. Or it can also be over here, next to these two mobs. So do be aware. And then we're going to run back along here. Again, you can actually jump over these barrels if you really want to. Or you can press F to clear them. Or if you use the cannons, you end up destroying them and killing the mobs alongside it. And then we come into this room with all the hatching eggs. I'm just going to arc line on this first one. Get it out of the way. We don't want to let that hatch because then it will spawn two extra mobs and I'd rather just not deal with them. And then we're going to accidentally pull that and that's a, that's not what you're supposed to do. But uh, you're meant to throw torches at, <laughs> at that along the way. Let me just deal with you. There we go. But you're meant to just throw torches while that one is not walking in front of it. There's actually a bit of a weird gap where even with the mob walking in front of the pile of lumber, you can still miss them, and it's like a little bit after the, they've passed it that it will actually hit, like you just saw then. After that, we're just going to run past here. This should only pull one of the two, the hatch. And then we'll kill one of those, and then we're on to the first boss, which is Big Snake Boy, Vibor Viboros the Golden. So, what I'm going to do in here is I have Protective Wings Stone, which I'm going to pop. I've got Thwart. And then I also have my insulating lens, and then I put down a magic circle, and I battle him. I usually do the magic circle last, but 
It is what it is. And then we're just going to drop a Meteor on him. And this will do a ton of damage. And then Arc Lightning. And just hits. So this boss has a few abilities. Got the Howl. It'll also spawn these eggs. Once you get it past 50%. It uh, will spawn four at once. And you don't really have to break them. They take forever to hatch anyway. And as you can see, you went down super fast anyway. Because we're playing a mage. So... That's why I said I maybe overgeared this a little bit for this run. Because I just do a ridiculous amount of damage now. So, the other move he has is like a charge and then a howl. And this is all very avoidable. So, this boss is really easy. It's some of the later bosses that you're going to have a little bit more trouble dealing with. But anyway, I'm going to go through here. Kill this guy because ideally, playing a mage, I don't want to let them get close at all. If you're playing melee, you trip them or do other stuff. And then I'm just going to clear these out the way. But with my armor still being not the best, I'm still divine. So I'd rather avoid taking any hits from the mobs if I can. Speaking of which, we're going to pull this guy as well. Again, just hit him with the fireball arc lightning combo. Pretty much kills them every time. Occasionally I have to throw out another fireball. But that's fine. And then I'm going to arc lightning this egg. Just in case. And then I'm going to position myself over here to throw down... Actually, you know what? I'll throw a uh, magic circle down as well. I could use battle him. Well, actually, it's still on cooldown. Yeah, I could use more stuff, but I don't need to. Declare those two out of the way. And now that we're in here, I'm going to grab this barrel on the side. Press R and roll it down the stairs. And it should destroy all of these eggs. If not, we just throw out some God's Whips. So I just throw out the God Whip, finish them off, and then I'm going to kill this one knight that walks past here as well. Because we are going to have to kill all the mobs in this room, which may look intimidating at first, but you only really have to kill the Medusa and the rest go down a lot easier. Also, got a, uh, a gear there, which is very nice. Get some Moonlight Crystals out of that. Alright, so, again, we're going to do the usual. I'm actually going to Pop insulating lens and also my protective wings just for the extra protection. Fireball arc lightning. Once she's dead in the middle, you want to come up, press F to pick up her head, and then press R on these guys, it'll freeze them. One god's whip or one ability, and they all die. So that's nice and easy. And then you'll have these packs that spawn on the sides, which you want to grab, and you just want to throw these down on the strange device in the middle. And we're doing this so we can open this gate over here, which gives us access to a lever, so we can then open the gate that's up there above us. Let's go throw that final one down. There we go. This door opens, and there is one mob at the back here. Now, there are spikes in this room. They don't do a ton of damage, but I'd rather not. Well, okay, I've been hit by it anyway, but... What we can do here is we can arc light and fireball this guy. The reason I didn't want to go too deep into the room there is he will jump on you. So you kind of want to lure him out, especially if you're melee. If you're ranged, you can just, you know, pick him off. But if you step into the room about here, he'll aggro anyway. But yeah, just getting stunned on top of the spikes just means more damage that we would rather avoid. So that's why you want to do that. Once we've pulled the lever in there, we can just climb up this. And this gate up here is being opened now, so we can move on to the second boss of the dungeon. Alright, so we're going to climb up here. There's one patrol that goes past, which we could kill, or we can let him pass, and we can just jump off the side here. We'll take a little bit of fall damage, but that's fine. Walk up into the middle, and that'll activate this. And after Travis has given his big uh, speech, the He'll actually spawn as the boss, and then we can kill him. There are also these guys up here, with all these kegs, which I believe they're supposed to throw them down during the fight, and there's a cannon over this way where the glutton is, that you're supposed to shoot these guys to kill them. You can just avoid that, you can kind of skip it. I think if you stay on this side of the room, they don't even aggro, so it's not really an issue at all. Alright, so he's about to actually spawn now. He'll spawn in the middle. And we're just going to hit him with our usual combo. 
So again, we're gonna pop our protective wings. Our insulating lens. Battle him. Magic circle, and then I'm just gonna throw down the meteor. And this will do a ton of damage to him right off the bat. Or he'll jump out of it, one of the two. I have the wrong target. <laughs> As you can see, that protective wings and the uh, thwart is working wonders for me right now. It really helps me make up for the lack of armor I have. Now, I don't remember why I think this, but apparently... <laughs> I just remember back, back in the day, using the um, the instruments to avoid damage there, and I don't know why that is. I don't know if that was just to, like heal the damage off afterwards, but yeah, I took I did take a surprising amount of damage there. I don't usually take that much, because uh, well, again, you kind of want to stand closer if you're a mage to the meteor, because then you won't jump as far, and you can still get some more damage in. But yeah. As you can see, I still killed him. It was nice and easy. I might actually pop a potion as well. I would actually eat food, but just for the purpose of the video, I'm just going to pop potions to go faster. We'll speed up a bit as well. And next we're in this room. Again, we're going to do the usual thing and just clear it out. I don't mind if the eggs uh, both pop. Because we just God's whip. They're all dead. And then we can kill this guy as well. Firebolt. Arc lightning. And ideally I would have liked to use my uh, God's whip on these guys. But I'm just going to use that guy's item to spin around. There we go. But yeah that guy. Uh, the big guy drops this uh. This item, I don't even know what it's called. <laughs> but you get to spin around in a circle and do a bit of damage. Again, these are like really low level mobs, so you don't even really need to worry about killing them. But once we pull the lever over there, this door opens, we can come through here. There's a ton of mobs in here, but we can just avoid them all. Just walk around them all. If you want to clear all the rooms, you can do. But just for the purposes of time, we just run around them all. And then we get to the ramp before the third boss of the dungeon. Now, here what we can do is just grab a barrel, throw it down, and there's going to be several of these along the way that you can just keep picking up. And for the mobs it doesn't finish, which it didn't, didn't need any help there. But sometimes it doesn't finish all the mobs, so sometimes you might want to throw out an additional ability or two. Or even get another barrel, there are several more. Like here, didn't kill them all. And then we're in the third boss's room. Now I think this boss and the second boss in this dungeon are probably the hardest. The second boss has like that stone, he spins around and is always jumping on you and he has that one flame move. Ideally, you want to kill him before he gets that flame move off. But uh, if you can't, you know, it is what it is. And it, that is something you can take if you have protective wings and thwart. You're running a similar build to me. Oh, got silenced. Alright, we're just gonna kill you. There we go. And then there's three in the middle here, which I'm just gonna meet here. Just to clear them out. There we go. God's whip all of those, and then we're gonna arc line on this guy. I don't think we need to clear this room out either, really, but I just like to, to be careful. I think this guy actually does the most damage in the dungeon, but he also goes down a lot faster than the second boss, I feel like, so... I am just gonna pop a potion just to be careful. I mean, <laughs> You know what, I might not even need to, actually. We're just gonna go for it, so we'll walk up into the middle. Let him play out his dialogue, and then when he's ready to go, we'll hit him with the usual combo. Yeah, I don't think we need to actually pot up.
So this guy, he will spawn different elements in the room. I think water like squirts up out of these different walls and eventually it fills the room a little bit. But he does a lot of magic damage. So he hurts. Um, you can, again, if you're running the build I am, you'll probably get from pretty quickly though. So we'll see how this goes. Pop our protective wings. Insulin lens. Battle him. Magic circle. And apparently he's out of line of sights. Okay, well cool. I'm not in the magic circle. That didn't happen last time. Well, there we go. Hit him with the arc line and after that. And then we don't want to stand in that circle. That's one we can avoid. Ah, uh, this is where you'll spawn elementals, so you can clear them out. And then the fire elementals will all shoot across the room. I think you might be okay if you're in the middle. But you can see he spawns a lot. But again, goes down very quickly. And as you can see, we never really took any damage. So, you can't just stand on top of him over here. If you melee, do a bunch of damage to him. Or just stand in the middle of the room and just drop everything on him if you're a mage. I think, again, archers are just going to have a tough, tougher time because archers, I feel like, they feel like the weakest class. Or the weakest arch type in the game. We're just going to meta this guy next. We can avoid these eggs on the side. Which hopefully I do. Just going to be careful not to accidentally activate them. And then we're going to clear all the mobs out in here as well, because this is actually an optional boss. We don't need to kill this guy, but he does drop items, so I'll show you how to skip him, and then I'll also show you how you kill him. He's, again, very easy. We want to just use these secret weapons that are along the side, which are just harpoons. You'll see in a moment. These uh, silences are a little annoying, though. Just got to avoid those. There we go. Okay. Pop a potion. And then we're going to come up over here. And so this guy you can actually just stand right behind. And to open this next door, all you got to do is open open it by pressing these lion statues. So just F on that one, F on that one. And the door will open. But we do want to kill him. We do want to get that extra loot. So what we want to do is open up how we usually would. Um, I might even... No, I'll, I'll get nice and close to him. So again, just pop ever in. Magic circle, and then hit him with the meteor. And he should drop to like 50% health. Okay, now he's got the illusionary rage up. We want to back up. We're going to grab one of these secret weapons. Hit him with this, and this will stun him. And we'll disable his berserk. And then we can just keep hitting him with everything we've got. Whoops, I didn't mean to hit that again. <laughs> I do have a few things bound to the same button. Yeah, it is also worth noting that while you've got this harpoon on your back, you move very slowly. As you can see, I'm like walking. Probably should kill him though before he does more damage. There we go. I also had my meteor up again, which I could have used. So, he does a lot of damage, especially when he has that buff on him. So you want to immediately take him out with the harpoon, get that stun on him. Otherwise, he will hurt a lot. A lot more than he's already hurt me, so... Gotta be careful about that. And then if we loot him, we uh, realize our bag is full, because this is a pretty much like a bank haul for me, with just a bunch of extra garbage that I've got from events. So, uh... Yeah, that's, that's something I need to clear out, or maybe get more expansion scrolls for. But yeah, that's uh, the fourth boss, and now we're on to the fifth and final one, which is just around this corner. So, what we're going to do, again, just drop some barrels on these guys. Roll it down the stairs. And there we go. And then we come into this big room here. And the boss is just over there, through that door. So, what we're going to do is... Well, I was going to sprint. 
Hold on. <laughs> Let me just wait. So what I like to do is just sprint and then teleport. I don't know if you can teleport and jump the gap without the sprints. I feel like it just helps. But yeah, there you go. And you just jump over there and you can skip that. You can also use behind enemy lines. You can use backdrop. Whatever gets you over. If you don't have any of the mobility, you'll end up dropping down here where you have the Medusa. So let me go ahead and do that now, just to show it off. If you do fall down as well and uh, mess up, and you have behind enemy lines. Another thing you can do is there is a place you can jump up to. I think it's here. There's like a little piece that sticks out over here that you can jump up on. And then from there you can jump from there up to the ladder using behind enemy lines and grab on. Or what you can do is you can just clear off these mobs. Like people that don't have the mobility. Grab the Medusa head like we did earlier. Pop that. And they're all dead. And then when we pull this lever here, some water will start to rise in the room. And then we'll want to head for this ladder up here. There we go. So it's a little bit slower than just jumping over, but if you don't have the mobility, it is what it is. There we go. Pull that and that will raise the water level even higher so you can reach this ladder over here. Well, I don't think you need to reach the ladder, you can just jump out. Either way, you're then finally at the last boss of the dungeon. And this guy is actually super easy. Most of his abilities you can dodge. He has like a rampage where he'll stomp around and charge. And then he has one where he shoots out these like white balls that you don't want to stand in. Otherwise you're going to take a bunch of damage. And then also he'll have one of a move where he has this beam that links to you. And all you want to do for that is grab a shield in the corner press R and use it and it'll freeze him instead of freezing you. But while he's frozen he doesn't take a lot of damage. But it gives you time to work on your casts. So let me go ahead and start the fight. I'm just gonna open up like we usually would. Hit him with the Meteor. He's actually opening up with that ability as well so what we're gonna do, pick this up, press R, and then he's frozen, and while he's frozen, you can start casting our Arc Lightning. I think we timed that right. And these are the white balls that you don't want to stand in. And he's doing that ability again, so we just want to pick up another shield. Press R on that. And there we go. Hit him with another Arc Lightning. That's a charge, so ideally I would have got out the way there. Thought my teleport was up, which I think it was actually. I might have just not hit it in time. But I can actually just finish him off now by hitting... Well, never mind. He doesn't actually take a ton of damage while he's using that either. Oh, well, now I'm frozen. But as you'll see, he won't do any damage to me, really. Unless he uh, rampages. Yeah, let's just chuck this down. Oh god, okay, we need to go. We need to get out of the way again. <laughs> so that rampage ability is what does the majority of his damage. And the tail whips, apparently. Okay, well this is... He's not making this easy on me. Uh-oh. Yeah, okay, maybe I need to not... Spend less time explaining and more time actually doing. Ouch. Okay. Well, um... Whoops. <laughs> I'm probably just spending too much time talking and not actually paying attention to the fight. But what we can do here is we can press F on the circle. So it'll take us to the second boss's room. And I thought there was another circle in here that would take us further. I've not died in this dungeon in a long time. <laughs> okay, well... Just means we have to run back, so uh, I'll just cut to that part. Okay, and we're back in the room. So this time I'm not really going to stall to let his abilities go off. So we're just going to, again, use our usual opening. Pop everyone. Get my battle him. 
and then hit him with the meteor. Hopefully we don't... Okay. He did open with wit Witness, which... I didn't pick up the shield. Okay, there we go. While that's doing that, we can just chill, wait in the magic circle, pop an arc line in. Hopefully he doesn't pull. He didn't pull. Perfect. I'm going to make our way over to this other shield. I think ideally what you want to do is try to circle the room. I'm also going to try and pop down a meteor. Ah, it was too late. I'm going to move out of that. Oh no, that's perfect. He used the wrong ability for that situation. Okay, he's going to rampage, so we're going to move out of the way. I'm going to grab the shield again. And now we can actually move back over in this direction if we really want to. Because the last shield will always respawn before the next time he casts that ability. And there we go. That's a nice easy run. We can go ahead and loot him now. Oh, well, my bag's full. Maybe I can't. Uh, I'll, I'll figure that out. But uh, yeah, that's how it's done. He does also have a frenzy, but you just want to try and kill him as fast as possible so he doesn't pop that. Again, if you were... Uh, I think the main idea here is if you try and delay the fight, so if you don't try and kill them as fast as possible, then they're gonna wear you out. Especially this guy with all his pulls. Especially if you're a caster, because he's gonna just stop all your casts with his pulls and uh, him using that witness ability as well. He just doesn't take as much damage while he's using it, so you always want to run and grab a shield. And just do your best to play time. I think you can leech his Berserk, or his uh, Frenzy. And if you can't, then you can also just play for time and run around. Alright, so that's it for this video, everyone. So, thanks for watching. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe. All the usual YouTube stuff. If you want to, feel free to join the Discord. We have a community over there. And feel free to check me out over on Twitch. And you can see me do some of these runs live. And, uh, yeah. Good luck. Hopefully, all your runs go well. And I'll see you all in the next video.